Welcome back to another episode of Angry Mac Adventures. Today, we're actually changing something up. A couple of months ago, I painted the floor in a Kiwi grip. It's good, don't get me wrong, it's good, but I don't think it's great. Reason being is, see all that dirt? Yeah, it gets very dirty very easily and it's hard to remove. So, I don't know, it doesn't look that nice. So today's mission is to install brand new marine carpet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out a template out of cardboard make sure it's 100%, put the marine pin out and glue it down. So it's gonna look really nice and it's gonna have that nice um, feel to it, especially when you're walking around as well. So that's the plan, let's get into it. Alrighty, so to install the marine carp into your boat, these are the tools I'm gonna to be using. Pretty basic, but I'm sure it'll work. So here it is. We've got a tape measure and a straight edge um, to make sure that it fits properly. We've got a very sharp standing knife and some brand new blades. Uh, we've got some contact fix to install the marine carpet. Uh, this here is the, the Sika brand. I heard it's very good. Some wax and grease remover to clean your floor. Some brushes to install the contact. And of course, the carpet of your choice. Now we're gonna be using a template before we install the carpet. So we got some cardboard. Alrighty, let's go take some measurements and then we can start stuffing around with the template. So this is the, the basic uh, outline of the boat. This is a little bit of a unique shape because it kind of comes out in the, in the middle of the boat and then comes back in. So we're definitely gonna be testing our skills here. We're gonna do the basic measurements around the outside. Um, we can cut these hatches out a little bit later. And of course we have to do the seat. So here's the final product. I've got as much measurements as I could. Um, I'm gonna do like the first half and try and get uh, this shape sorted. And then once this shape's sorted, then I can um, do the bottom half and then just tape the cardboard together. But I wanna try and get around these seats, which I think is gonna be most difficult. So I've got as much measurements as I could. Let's start marking it out on the cardboard. And Using the straight edge and the tape measure, I marked the template out onto the cardboard, making sure that all my measurements were 100% correct before cutting it out with the Stanley knife. Once the first part was cut out, I placed it in the boat to make sure it was a good fit. There were a couple of areas around the perimeter that needed to be trimmed up, but all in all, it wasn't too bad. There were a few areas that I actually had to add cardboard, so I wrote it down on the template to make sure that it was added before cutting the carpet. So all the templates now done, I tell you what, it is looking really good. So all the cutouts are now done. Um, also um, around the support brackets as well. Um, I've just given some measurements um, to the edge. I was gonna do a little piece there, but I'm, I think that the measurements from here out are gonna be accurate enough um, to get the sides there. The, the more effort you put into your template, the better the final product's gonna be, that's for sure. But I'm extremely happy with that. So we'll pull out all the um, cardboard and lay it on the ground and get the carpet ready. Alrighty, so it's all taped up now, so I'm gonna flip it over so the front's facing the front of the carpet so we can cut it out. Now, for the edges, I've just cut them straight, but we are gonna give them a nice curve to make it look uh, nice and aesthetically pleasing. We'll spin this over and uh, we'll start tracing up. Once the template was placed onto the carpet, it was just a matter of tracing it with a permanent marker. I also used a wax and grease remover lid to do my edges. Once it was all marked out, I used the straight edge and Stanley knife to cut it out to make sure they were straight precision cuts. The carpet was starting to look really good, so it was time to put it in the boat to make sure it all fitted up square. I was very impressed how this was starting to come together. Once the carpet was fitted to the boat, it was time to do the final trim, ready for gluing. 
Once the carpet was ready to stick to the floor, we used some wax and grease remover to remove any contaminants. This is to ensure we get the best bond between the carpet and the floor. To apply the contact, we're using a brush and making sure that we spread it evenly. You want to put a good coat on the floor and on the carpet. Then give it a couple of minutes, wait for it to go tacky and then start applying it to the floor. Now you can actually buy proper carpet rollers to make sure you get the best adhesion possible but pushing it down with your hand is absolutely fine. Now I was working in one meter increments starting from the front and working my way down. This was to ensure that I was working the carpet around those hatches to make sure I had a perfect fit. Now I was really massaging this carpet in to make sure I had a good contact between the carpet and the floor. And just while it's on my head, make sure you wear a respirator because this contact fix is pretty crazy. Now after a couple of hours of creating the template and installing the carpet, let's see how good it turned out the next day. I was very impressed with the results and while I was there I installed two brand new boat seats and put the breather at the back of the engine well just as you guys mentioned, making sure that the return line was higher than the fuel cap. Well there you have it guys, the marine carpet installation, it come up an absolute treat. It looks uh, a hell of a lot nicer than just the paint. I did like the Kiwi grip but um, after using it for like a month it just got dirty and it was quite hard to scrub off. Um, still a good product, it was still non-slip but uh, I like the boat looking nice and clean so I decided to uh, put the carpet down. Now I am going to get some more and just wrap that little edge at the bottom there just to tie it all in and make it all look pretty but I am very happy. If you guys stuck around, thank you very much. See you in the next one.